publication education for excellence chapter 7 editing and formatting in ms excel 2010 you will learn in this chapter editing in ms excel inserting rows and columns deleting rows and columns and formatting in ms excel in the previous chapter you learned about spreadsheet and entering data in the cell once you enter the data in a cell you need to edit and format that data excel has a numbers of tools to edit and format the cells and can change the data look editing in ms excel selecting data before editing you need to select cells you can select one cell or multiple cells together let us see one by one how to select a cell first selecting a cell to select a cell just click on that cell for example to select a cell c3 click on cell c3 the cell gets selected second ranges of selecting a range of cells to select a range of cell follow these steps number 1 click on first cell say c3 number 2 click on shift key and the last cell say c8 the selected cell get highlighted in a blue color number 3 that is selecting non connecting cells to select non connecting cells follow these steps number 1 select the first cell say c3 number 2 keep the control key pressed to select the cells number 4 selecting a row to select a entire row follow these steps number 1 select a row number or header display at the left side of the worksheet the entire row gets selected it will look like this number 5 selecting a column to select an entire column follow these steps first number 1 click on the column header display at the top side of the worksheet second the entire column gets selected it will look like this number 6 selecting an entire worksheet to select an entire worksheet follow these steps number 1 press control plus a or control plus shift plus space bar the entire sheet will get selected inserting rows and columns if you need to add new data in existing worksheet you can insert a new cell column or row in a worksheet follow these steps number 1 select a cell row or column where you wanted a new blank cell to be number 2 in the cell group on the home tab click on insert tab button a drop down menu will appear select the sheet insert column row sheet to insert a new row a new row will be added to the above sheet of the cell number 5 click on the insert sheet column to insert a new column a new column will be added to the left side of the cell deleting rows and columns you can easily delete existing rows and columns from the worksheet to delete row and column from the worksheet follow these steps number 1 select the row or column you want to delete number 2 in the cell group on the home tab click on delete command the delete drop down list appears to default to delete the entire row select the delete sheet row option the selected row will get deleted number 5 to delete the entire column click on delete sheet column option the selected column will get deleted copy paste to keep multiple copies of data ms excel provide copy and paste option to copy and paste follow these steps number 1 select the cell row or column you want to copy number 2 in the clipboard group on the home tab click on copy or press control plus c number 3 select the cell where you need to paste this copy content in the clipboard group on home tab click on paste or control plus v shortcut cut and paste 
to move data from one positions to another excel provide cut and paste option to cut and paste follow these steps number 1 select the cell row or column you want to cut number 2 in the clipboard group on the home tab click on cut or press control plus x shortcut number 3 select a cell where you need to paste this copy content number 4 in the clipboard group on the home tab click on paste or control plus v shortcut keys undo and redo you can reverse almost every action in ms excel by using the undo command to undo follow these steps number 1 from the quick access tool bar undo button on or click control plus z number 2 in the previous action get back to your document you can again reverse back the action done by undo in excel by using redo command follow this step to redo command number 1 from the quick access tool bar click on redo button or click control plus y shortcut in the previous undo action get back to your document formatting in excel you can change the format of row columns and cells to make worksheet more attractive formatting makes worksheet easy to understand formatting data you can format excel data by changing the font font size font style and font colors to format the data in cell follow these steps number 1 select the data to format number 2 click on font group on the home tab number 3 choose the following command to format the data next is changing row heights to change the row height of a row follow these steps number 1 select the row number 2 in the cell group on the home tab click on format command number 3 the format drop down will list will appears number 4 click on the row height option a row height dialog box will appear number 5 enter the numeric value in the row height box and click okay button changing column width to change the column width of a column follow these steps number 1 select the column in the cell group on the home tab click on format button the format drop down list will appear click on column width option a column width dialog box will appear click here the numeric values in the column width and click okay button you can also adjust the row height and column width according to a worksheet for this click on auto fill row height or auto fill column width in the format drop down list box aligning the column alignment helps to show the document in a systematic and orderly manner there are six types of alignment in ms excel number 1 is top alignment number 2 middle alignment number 3 bottom alignment number 4 left alignment number 5 center alignment and number 6 is right alignment to align a column follow these steps number 1 open the worksheet number 2 select the column whose alignment you want to change number 3 click on alignment group form the tab home tab number 4 click on one alignment from the alignment group the alignment of the call of the cell will be formatted now wrapping text sometimes the text you type in the cell is too long it does not fit in the cell and hidden the right side of the cell the wrapping text command show the hidden text in the multiple lines to wrap text follow these steps number 1 select the cell with text that you want to wrap number 2 select the wrap text command from the home tab number 3 the text is selected cell will be wrapped in your worksheet merging a cell to combine two or more cell into a single cell is called merging this feature is used to create heading and that covers more than one column to merge cell follow this steps number 1 select the cell you want to merge number 2 select cell and center command on the home tab number 3 selected cell will merge 
and the text will be centered. Next is formatting numbers. Numbers are important in data in Excel. There are several types of number format available in MS Excel 2010. By default, Excel use general format of number. This means no specific number format is applied. However, we can change the formatting according to the data need. MS Excel has can hold different types of numeric data like numbers, currency, dates, etc. You can set the cell type in the various ways. To format numbers, follow these steps. Number one, select the cell you want to format. Number two, on the home tab, click on number format drop down box and a arrow in the number group. Point three, the number menu appears. Select the number format that you want to format. You can also format cells using applied format. Cell dialog box to apply numbers format by clicking more number format from number menu. Various cell formats. Below are various categories of cell formats. Number one is general. This is default cell format of Excel cell. Number two, numbers. This display cell numbers with separators like 2, 5, 0,0,00. Number three, that is currency. This displays cell in the currency. Currency that is we can currency with a currency sign. Number four is accounting. Similar to the currency used for accounting purpose. Date. Various date formats are available under in Excel under this option like 21-03-2018 or 21st March 2008 etc. Six is time. Various time formats are available under this like 11.30 pm or 22 colon 30 etc. Number seven is percentage. This display the cell as a percentage with the decimal places like 60.00 and then percent sign. Eight is that is a fraction. This display cell in the fraction part like one upon four or one upon two etc. Six is nine is that is scientific. This display cell in exponential like 22.6 e plus 01. 10 is text. This display cell as normal text format. 11. Special. Special format cell is like zip code and phone numbers. Number 12. Custom. You can use custom format using this. Adding border to the cell. By default, there are no borders in a cell. To add a border in a cell, follow these steps. Number 1. Select the cell. In the font group on the home tab, click on the border button. The border drop down list appears. Choose the border style. Number 4. You can click on line color and line style to change the color and style of the cell.